the human desires are shifting into and sort of intersecting with the desires of machines because I think we've personalized our machines so much that to really differentiate between ourselves and them it's becoming harder and harder. It's more than just having them do work for us. They're, they're really starting to be us. I think that that's one of the sort of areas that the shows do that really is kind of a, a, a social experiment, not just an exercise in mechanics. I wanted to do a show for everybody who ever thought they had too much but uh, still wanted more. This is dedicated to the guilt that they should have felt but never did. Well, there's an abundance of things here, an abundance of pianos, an abundance of machines for such a small space. When you think the walking machine saved that away, you want to try to set whatever's in there boiling. There's food in there, right? You want to cook it. Cook that food. At that point, Brian, you're to come over here and start like getting the stuff on the wall. Just be the total brat. Come in like under this thing and like up to the audience. Start creaking around in here, snap a piece of furniture. The machine doesn't move very fast, but you have to remember that it can swing around anywhere. The thing on the end has about eight horsepower on it. It could severely maim you. Anybody running around in there is really going to have to watch out for that.
most people, there's just not much chance that there's really going to be any real peril or danger in their life. I feel like it's kind of nice that you can create a situation where people really get to confront like some really heavy, serious, hazardous things and really get it shoved in their face, but not to the point where it just is a negative thing. When the giant corkscrew machine came over two feet above your head and you said, my God, I could sit here and die, but you didn't die and so it was happy. It's sort of a way of having your cake and eating it too, really. People get that stimulation that's really extreme without the hangover.